Hey guys, Shane here with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Peterson Thin Line Side Marker or Clearance Light. Light's going to be an incandescent light. The bulb itself is going to give us 15,000 hours of light. It's going to be a single wire design and it's going to work with 12 volt DC systems. These lights are going to be a great replacement light for any light on your trailer that may be burnt out or maybe corroded and just not working anymore. Keep in mind, this is a red lens. So it's, it is designed to be used on the back of the trailer. There are amber lenses available, which are to be mounted on the front of the trailer. You can find those here at eTrailer.com. With it being three and a half inches wide, or three and a half inches long by an inch wide, makes it very easy to mount these lights in an area where you might be in, in a tight space. The base is gonna be a durable, impact resistant acrylic. The lens is also gonna be an acrylic lens. So it's gonna be scratch resistant. It's gonna hold up in all weather conditions. We don't have to worry about the rust and corrosion like you do on some of the other lights. As you can see, it's gonna be a surface mount. It can be mounted horizontally or diagonally. It doesn't matter. These are gonna be DOT compliant also. The lens itself is a snap-on lens, so if you need to change the bulb, it's gonna be a 184 bulb. You simply take a screwdriver, you can pop the lens off, replace the bulb, and the lens pops right back into place. Something to keep in mind, the light is not gonna come with new hardware. Uh, here I just use the existing hardware that we had, but the housing, on the back side of the housing, is gonna come with a foam pad that is gonna help seal the back of that housing once you uh, install it to help keep water or anything from getting in there, getting inside the holes and inside your trailer. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. So at your installation, you need to remove your old light. You need to pay attention if you disconnect any wires inside of what wires are connected together. Remove your lens on your new light. We're gonna feed the wire into the hole and we can reinstall our old hardware or replace it with new hardware. Keep in mind, hardware is not going to come with this light. It's just a replacement. Pop our cap on, now we can go inside and we can get our wires together. We have our wire coming from our light. This wire here runs up and across over to the other light on the other side. We need to strip it back. We're going to tie these two together. Strip this back a little bit more. Tie these two together. Add on a new butt connector. And we'll take our wire coming from our lower lights. We'll strip it back. Get it in. Trip it down. Now we can test it out, make sure it's working correctly. Once you know it's working correctly, you're ready to go. And repeat the same process for any other lights you may be replacing. That's going to do it for a look at and installation on the Peterson Thin Line Side Marker Clearance Trailer Light.